See, I told you his head looked funny. But anyways, as you see, the bike that Morgan's riding here is quite unique. The biggest difference is it has no seat. Okay, trials riders never sit down. So in order to do away with the excess weight of the bike, the manufacturers have left the seat off completely. Now the bike's fit with hydraulic brakes, front and rear, very, very low gearing. Also has a big fat back tire as well there, because Morgan likes to eat a lot of uh, Jaguar dogs when he comes to these kind of events. And uh, the bike actually takes up a lot of the impact, seeing as it doesn't have any suspension. So Morgan's going to start moving on to some of these ramps. If you like what you see, make sure you make plenty of noise for him. Hope you enjoy it. Not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad if you're a 70 year old grandma. Hey, Morg. Yeah. Actually, uh, my grandma, she actually helped us design all these ramps and she weighs about 120 kilos. She actually came out and did that exact same move there, except she made it look a whole lot better than Morgan did. Shame, Morg, shame. You think you got uh, something a little bit better? These people came out here to see something amazing. Yep. All right, he thinks he's got something a bit better for you guys. I'll let you guys decide whether he does or not. That's it, Morg. Nice work all the way to the top. Now he's got to get back down to the ground. Come on, let's hear some noise from him. He's starting to get warmed up now, all the way on the back wheel. Okay, the next part of the show, what Morgan's actually going to do is attempt to jump his bike straight up this vertical ramp here. Morgs, that means straight up and down, all right? Just so you know that. Got it? All right, now what he's going to do is come along the flat ground there, lift the bike completely off the ground. He's going to have to lift it that high that the back wheel gets right up to this top edge. The front wheel will land kind of up here somewhere, but you'll see him really lift with his body, push the bike forward. When the back wheel hits on the edge there, he's going to drag himself up, holding onto the back brake, drag himself up and uh, onto the top there. Now, it does take a lot of strength in his arms, and uh, he has been uh, complaining at me because we've been on tour now for a few weeks straight, telling me his arms are getting tired and that kind of thing. But uh, it doesn't really surprise me. His grandma normally beats him in an arm wrestling contest. As you can see, them little chicken arms on him. And uh, she grows a better moustache than him too. So, uh, But anyways, if he makes it up there, make sure you make plenty of noise for him, because otherwise he tends to cry himself to sleep at night. So what do you think? Is he going to make it up? Straight to the top, that's the work, Mog. All the way to the top of the trailer. And back down. Mate, looks like you're starting to warm up. You feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good today. All right, what do you got now, mate? A few more things? Well, uh, seeing as I don't want to crash off this trailer over here because I'm getting a bit tired, I'll get you to line the ground here so I'm nice and safe. Not You're getting a bit tired. Oh, poor little guy. Hope you're paying me for this. Hey, mate, your brakes are a bit squeaky there. Are they working all right? Don't really want to get hit by you today. Well, that wasn't bad, mate. Apart from the fact you could see straight up your skirt. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should wear pants next time. <laughs> no need to get personal now, all right? <laughs> hey, watch it. Your Sony brakes weren't working all that good before. So just a little bit on Morgan, he's actually just returned from uh, from overseas. He spent quite a few months in Europe competing in a few of the world championship rounds and things like that. Where he's actually placing quite high in the rankings. And uh, bike trials is actually as a sport, 
in uh, in Europe is actually about the same size as football is here. So as you can imagine, it's quite uh, competitive over there. But uh, Morgs, I don't really like the look of this. I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable in this position. It doesn't matter to you, does it? No. You know, we can just shake hands and be friends. You don't really need to do this. Got your back brake locking on now. Got a few issues, don't you? Yeah, mental issues. Oh, well, mate. I hope your skirt doesn't get caught in the chain. Come on, let's hear it for Morgan. Luckily for me, he's pretty precise with that bike of his.